Hi guys and welcome to your yoga massage session today. A couple of things before we get started. Uh, I am using the yoga tune-up balls for this class. Um, if you don't have yoga tune-up balls, which a lot of people won't, then two old-fashioned tennis balls will do the trick just as nicely as well. These obviously uh, will likely give a better result because that's what they're designed for, but tennis balls are absolutely fine as well. I also have with me a bolster and a block. Um, if you do have a bolster and or a block, they're just good to put underneath the hips to give you a little bit of height, uh, but you definitely don't need them. So if you don't have them, then don't worry about it. I'm not going to do the practice with the bolster and the block underneath my hips, just to show you that you can use it. You can do the yoga massage without them. But if you have them, then it might just be a nice little added comfort uh, to have under the hips. Um, we are going to make our way from the tops of the shoulders down to the calf muscles, so we're going down the back of the body today. And this class is designed so that I show you where we're, where we're massaging, and then you can hit pause and spend as much time as you want to massaging that part of the body. Uh, I would recommend anywhere from, say, two to five minutes, depending on how good or kind of that kind of pleasure and pain type feeling is. Um, important not to overdo it, so don't go too hard. Uh, any, uh, any deep twangs or sharp pains, then absolutely back off. Uh, you want to be able to breathe through this, and a good indication that you might have gone too far is that you literally can't relax the face and you can't relax the jaw. So let's get started. So as I said, we're going to work our way from the tops of the shoulders down to the calf muscles. And the first place that we're going to massage today is just on the top of the ridge, or that ridge part of the shoulders. So if you feel along the top of your shoulders, you should be able to feel a ridge there. So we're going to place the balls on each side, the right and the left, inside that part. So somewhere around here, depending on where you can find the ridge in your shoulders. So you're going to come down onto your back. Feel free to place a pillow, bolster or block underneath your hips if you like. And then just finding that ridge, placing the balls one at a time. Underneath. Have the feet on the floor to begin with. And just let everything settle for a moment. Now when you begin to move, the balls may, be, um, may move around as well, so you might have to readjust every now and again, all right? That's perfectly normal. So when you feel ready, you might even lift the hips just a little bit and then begin to shimmy from side to side. Take it easy. You probably find something straight away like I have. And then maybe you begin to just gently roll backwards and forwards. Now, if the hips are feeling very heavy or it's putting too much weight, then hip pause, find something to place under the hips, maybe a stack of pillows or cushions, or bolster or block. And just continue with these movements until you're ready to move on to the next one. Okay, so we've had enough of playing around and massaging that top ridge part of the shoulders. Now we're going to move down about four centimeters down the back, so around the the kind of top of the shoulder blade area and the balls are going to be together. So the spine's going to be in the middle and then the balls are going to be together. So just gently going ahead and lifting up the chest so that you can just gently slide the balls down. Remember they're together and then just let that settle for a moment. And then this time round we're going to Lift the arms up, so palms facing each other to begin with, and just let that sink in and settle. And then we're very simply taking it really nice and slow movement 
going to begin to just float the arms around. This is going to have a beautiful massaging effect. And just remember if the balls dislodge or they come out of place, then just pause, see if you can get them back in place. And just playing around with floating the arms around in all different directions. You might bring them up overhead and then sweep them wide. Maybe play around with softening the elbows and then extending the arms long again. Feel free to hit pause here so that you can practice this for as long as it feels good. About two to five minutes, depending on how the body's reacting here. Okay, moving down again, last one in this kind of upper to middle back area. So the easiest thing to do here, because we want to keep the balls together, we're going to move down about another four centimeters, is to just gently lift the hips up and then just kind of shimmy up your mat so that the balls come down. So now we're kind of around the bottom of the shoulder blade area, maybe still just in with the shoulder blades. And just let that settle. This is my grittiest part here. You can definitely feel this already. Remember, if you need something under the hips to help support the back and help support the weight, then press pause and grab your pillows or your cushions. Feel free just to stay still for as long as you need to here while you kind of settle into this. But this time around, we're going to have the arms nice and long. We're going to take an inhale, reach through the fingertips. And then as you exhale, you're going to soften the elbows down. So we're going to have this little massaging effect with our arms. Inhale, lift. And exhale, soften. And again, inhale. One more time. Feel free just to pause here. And when you're ready, go ahead and hit pause. And continue those movements for as long as it feels good. All right, go ahead and take your balls out from behind your back. This time we're going to move down to the buttocks or to the glutes. So the first place we're going to place the balls is at the top of the bottom or that really fleshy part of the bottom. Now I've got my block under my feet for this one because it's quite a gnarly uh, place to massage. So if you don't have a block, I recommend maybe getting like a thick book or just something that you can have a little bit of height underneath your feet. If you don't have a block, then it's totally okay. You just might need to take it a little bit more easy. All right, so when you're ready, go ahead and lift the hips up and place the balls evenly on either side of that fleshy top part of the bottom. And then just rest the weight of the hips down. And as always, just let it kind of settle. Let the shoulders relax. And when you're ready, we're going to begin those very gentle shimmying movements side to side. And once again, you might need to readjust the balls every now and again. And then maybe you might begin to gently tilt the pelvis forward and backwards to get a massaging effect in that direction. And then just kind of play around here with what feels nice. Keep the shoulders and the jaw nice and relaxed. And whenever you're ready, feel free to hit pause so that you can continue to massage the top of the bottom there.
Moving on now to the middle of the glutes, right in the middle of the bottom. So just gently lift the hips and place the balls right in the middle of each glute there. Rest the weight down. Whew. And just let everything settle. Now you have a couple of options here, and you may even want to do both. First option is, as we did in the previous massage, is to just shimmy side to side and then backwards or up and down, I guess you would say. And feel free just to do that for as long as it feels nice to. And then after that, you may even like to bring the feet off the block or whatever it is you have them on, bring the soles of the feet together and then open the knees into a reclining butterfly. Once you are in reclining butterfly, you might choose to be still or you might even have that gentle movement side to side, up and down, depends on how you're feeling. So have a little play around, massaging the glutes, the bottom area, and then press pause. And when you're ready to move on, we'll do our final massage of the calf. All right, our final yoga massage exercise today is the backs of the calf muscles. So, very simple, you only need one of the balls. Going to place one of the balls right in the middle of the calf muscle. Left knee stays bent, so we'll do the right leg first. Bring your hands back behind you so that you can lean back with support, fingers facing outwards. And then very simply, you're going to press into the left foot, lift the hips up, and then just gently begin to roll the ball up and down the length of the calf. This is a pretty strong one for me, so I'm just monitoring how hard I press here. And you might go up and down, you might begin to gently shimmy from side to side if you find a gnarly bit there that needs a little bit of love and attention. Feel free to hit pause here so that you can do the right and then go ahead and do the left as well for as long as it feels good. And we're done. I hope that you enjoyed that. Um, just some tips or ideas of how you might finish this practice. One way is to just leave it there, just have the massage and then go about whatever it is that you are doing. Uh, this is something nice that you could do before or even after a nice relaxing bath when the muscles are a little bit warmer. Uh, or if you've gone extra hard and you feel like you need a little bit more relaxation, then a nice hot bath with some bath salts is a nice idea after this. If you feel like you need to stretch everything out after going through the massage, some rounds of sun salutations might be nice. Uh, some poses like pigeon pose, um, some kind of uh, more yin related poses might be nice. Uh, standing forward fold might be a nice way or even seated forward fold be a nice way to stretch out the back of the body as well. Uh, or as I say, you might just simply leave it there. I recommend that you do this maybe once or twice a week. It's something that you could even do in front of the TV once you've um, remembered the massaging techniques. And as I say, using a simple old-fashioned tennis ball is perfectly fine. I hope that you enjoyed this self-care class of yoga massage. Have a beautiful rest of your day.